Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today, I'm actually going to be trying to build a narrow boat. Now, I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to go, uh, or if this is going to go at all, but uh, I'm going to give it my best shot. So, a narrow boat, if you don't know, is a boat that goes on the canals, it's not very wide, and it's very long. Uh, which is why it's called the narrow boat. Anyway, uh, we're going to attempt to build at least the hull today, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and figure this out. So, on the top we want it to be around 9 wide. So this is currently 5, then it's 7, and then it's 9. So that is as wide as we possibly want it to go. Uh, which, you know, is very, very tiny. That, that is small right there. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we need to... This has to have an engine on it as well. We're gonna go with a diesel engine, just so you guys know. Um, right, we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these thingamabobbies, and it's gonna go on here like so. There we go. In fact, actually, we're gonna have two of those. There we go, look at that, beautiful. Uh, then, we're gonna go ahead and change it up, and we're gonna go to a two, so uh, a one by two, which is this, and we're gonna have, you guessed it, two of those. And then we're gonna switch it out for, uh, actually no, just one of those. We're gonna switch it out for these ones. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to have the rest of those just like that. There we go. Beautiful. So there we have a nice looking uh, a nice looking bow for our boat. I think that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep it. All right. Then you might be wondering, what are you going to do with the rest of it? Well, actually, we're going to go ahead and put another one of these on. There we go. Uh, in fact, we need, to, we need more than that. We need to go a little bit further. Hold on. There, like that. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and put one of these on also. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put one of these on. There we go as well. All right. Everything is looking beautiful. Um, so the main problem that people have been having with these, I believe, uh, is that they're actually not very sturdy when they're in the water. Um, and the reason being is because they're narrow. Uh, and they, they're, they're called narrow boats uh, because they're narrow. And that is the problem uh, we appear to be having. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and do this. Awesome, right? Because uh, they do have sort of flat sides, and that's what I'm going for right here. Uh, of course, we're going to carry it on, so we're going to keep going downwards. Here we go. Like so. Delete this one. We obviously need a tour, okay, which is just one of these. Boop. And we're going to put that right there. Uh, and all of this is going to be underneath the water, I think. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm not entirely sure. I've not built one before, uh, and I don't really, really know what I'm doing. I haven't planned this ever, so, um, I'm gonna hope that this works, and if it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, ripperoni and pepperoni. Uh, but we're gonna go for something like that. There we go. And then they have a flat bottom, so we're gonna go with a flat bottom, and we're just gonna do something like this. There we go. Now, how long do we want it to be? Uh, so, ten... 20, 30, 40, uh, let's go with 60. It's going to be quite long. It's going to be a very long narrow boat, which, you know, they are long, and this seems all right. This does seem fine. It is going to be slightly bigger than that as well, because it needs to curve back up, but um, that's fine. That is A-OK -okay right there. Uh, right, on the tippity top, we're going to go across like so, delete whatever we've got left over. So, so, so that, there we go, beautiful. And attach all of this together as well. Here we go. Ooh. Nice and ooh. Right. Now, a little bit of a, um, uh, a situation that we've got right here. If I go ahead and I do this, we're going to have a really weird um, sort of bump. Does that make sense? We're going to have a weird bump. So it comes out here, which is strange, uh, but I think might be all right. Uh, then, if we follow that up with this, it's even weirder. I think. Is that weirder? That might be even more strange. Um, but it means that the bottom can be more flat and the side can be more flat, which is useful because this thing is narrow and um, narrow things are likely to tip over. So that is exactly why I've done that. There we go. So we've basically got a box on the back uh, and that, that is what I was going for so that it's more more sturdy in the water, which is good. Uh, right, now we just want to go ahead and paint all of this on the outside to grey or black or whatever colour you want because reasons. Um, 
because that is actually a thing that's done to these things. It's called blacking, I think. Uh, and it's just like a tar, which makes it not sink, basically. Yeah. Well, it makes it not rust. So that's that's a thing. Uh, right. What do we want to do? Where do we want to do it? I want to be able to walk around in this thing. Um, so we got to have it at least six tall. Um, which definitely is a bit of an issue. Uh, we're going to go back to about here. There we go. And then we need to do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how tall we need to go. All right. You know what? That is that is actually perfect. All right, cool. So we're going to have a slight angle on the sides, which is going to be done with one of these. One of these? Yes. Okay. And of course, we don't want it to be this color. So we're going to go with red. And this is going to go all the way back uh, to the back. There we go. Because narrow boats have, like, sort of slanty sides. Uh, and that, right there, is, in fact, a slanty side. Yes, indeed it is. All right, delete all of these, because we're going to go with one of these pieces. And we're going to bop it across the top. Nice. Yeah. Dude, I'm really happy with this. We're going to delete the whole floor, because we don't need the floor in there. Because we're going to be in there. And that's okay. Good. And then, we're going to go back to red. And we're going to paint... Well, no. We're not going to paint anything. We're going to do this. Whee! Because it's a narrow boat. There we go. And then we need a roof. And voila! We have ourselves a roof. Beautiful. That's awesome. I'm in love already. This is good. All right, okay. Go ahead and paint this side. Like this. Boop. Uh, we'll actually paint these as well. That's fine. And that actually looks all right. We're going to paint this one as well. So we know where the back is. And we know where the front is. We are going to be changing this one up a bit, though. Uh, because obviously we need the back of the boat to be there. Because <laughs> at the minute, we don't have a back of the boat. Um, but we're going to go with one of these pieces. We're going to take it to the back. And we're going to do this. Bam! And we're going to do something like that. There we go. Delete this piece. And put these pieces there. In fact, actually, just one of those pieces. And then we're going to have it be flat. There. Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, right, turn it around, press U, and bop another one of those in. There we go, just like that. We need, obviously need another one of these as well, and we're going to go back across, just like this. There we go. That's awesome. All right, can we put these across? Yes, we can. Uh, and that's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, I do want it to sort of be a little bit bigger, though. Uh, so we're going to continue doing a, well, the same thing. Uh, basically, uh, we're going to go like that. We're going to have another one of these. It's going to be the same all the way up because reasons. Uh, I don't actually know what the bottom of these things looks like in real life. So that's a bit of an issue. Um, but if we do this and we have this be, be flat, we might have a good might have a good thing here. Maybe. All right. So do this and attach it together like so. And that should be fine, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we're actually going to move this forwards a bit, though. Like, three? Yep, let's go with three. There we go. We'll do that as well. Uh, and that's good. Right, paint these the right way. So, we want this to be like this. We want the interior, at the minute, to be white. There we go. All the walls, the roof, the sides. Everything's going to be white. For now. Just for now. There we go. So, we know which is the inside and which is not. Um... That's okay, right. We're then going to do this sort of thing. Because this is the deck. Yep, and the deck goes at the back. <laughs> In case you guys didn't realize. Uh, and actually, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to test it. So we're going to do this. Whoop, and we're going to do this. Because these are going to be the buoyant areas. So delete both of those uh, when we're done. But put it in the water and we'll see if it floats. Yes, it does indeed. Yeah. Yeehaw! Dude, I love it! Yeah! This is awesome! This is very cool! Okay, right, so, now we need custom doors for these areas, so that we can actually get out of this thing. Um, I also kind of want to hatch here, although the engine on this one might go at the front, which I know isn't a normal thing. Um, but we won't be going out on the front, unless we want to, uh, and some of them have little hatches here anyway, so... If we put the engine at the front, we can actually bump it a bit. And that might be quite a good idea. 
All right, we also need to delete the back piece. That's good. And we need to put in a door as well as a helm. Yeah. Because on these boats, you sit on the back. Or you stand on the back because reasons. <laughs> you stand on the back because of reasons. Okay, we are going to go ahead and poke this out on both sides like so. Uh, the door can go here. In fact, if we lower it slightly... We can put the door in on a bit of a slant, so we can put, I don't know, uh, one of these in, maybe? Maybe? I don't know whether this is a good or a bad idea. Uh, depending on how much weight we put in, we might have to change this. But that's fine. Uh, that is okay. Right, so do that. We need to come across the top, like so. And we need to add one of these. Yes! Same on this side. There we go. So that is now integrated. Awesome. Uh, right, we need to work on the door. We do, we really need to work on the door. And it is a slight issue. We do have a bit of an issue here. Because this piece is a 1x4 rectangle, no, triangle, uh, the custom door won't really work. It won't, because we need these. Uh, and the way that that works is, you see, you see right there? This door's gonna have to be tiny if we do it this way. But, if we go ahead and we delete this, and we put that there, like so, then we would have to delete these two, and have another one of these right here, and that obviously pokes up a bit, but, 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 but that might be fine. Yeah, actually, in fact it is. Alright, put that right there, go ahead and put one of these right here. Same on this side, do the same thing, and voila, we can now have a bigger door. That's good. That is good work, everybody. We did it. You know, as soon as we start doing stuff like this, uh, we're going to have if issues. We're going to have big issues. Uh, right, okay, go inside, do this, yep, and turn it around, do this. There we go, and that is a very tiny door, but it might work. Maybe. <laughs> I, I so hope this does work. Right, frame. We need the frame to go in. Like so. Okay, frame's gonna go on there. Yep, good. And same thing on this side. Frame is gonna go right there. Yeah. Now, obviously, we need a hinge. I don't know whether we can fit through there. <laughs> I have no idea whether we can fit through there. Uh, for now, obviously, we're not gonna deal with the front. So we're just gonna block that up. And without a door in, I think it might sink, but we'll see. Yep, it sank. It definitely sank. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we've obviously got... Actually, you know what? Maybe it's because of this. It might be because there was a hole, like right here. Uh, because these things are supposed to seal. It's like a bit of a glitch. Um, but maybe it's because it's the wrong way around. I don't know. Right, we'll put a hinge in anyway and we'll put a door in. Uh, hinge, hinge please, uh, door, robotic door hinge, no, it can't really go there, it can't go there either, okay, it's gonna have to go on this side, it has to, It, it really does. It has to go on that side. Okay, well, that's fine, because we can just move the thing backwards. Um, but there we go. Right, do it in red. There we go. Put it on there. And we have a door. <laughs> we we have a door. Uh, right, okay, good. So with that being done, we need to move the helm backwards. And that's going to go right here. And that'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Just block that up like so. Go ahead and put another one of these pieces just on the side like that. And that is a-okay. Right. We need to sort out this door now. Okay, so I, oh, I always find this bit a bit annoying because uh, there's always issues. And because I can't really see what's going on, we've got a bit more of an issue. Just a little bit. Uh, right, okay. Go ahead and put this on here. And we want to do that. And then we want to do this. But the other way around. Like that. All the way down to there. And then we obviously want to put these pieces on the outside over there. And there we go. We got a door. We don't have a button for the door, but we have a door. <laughs> um, that is true, actually. We don't have a button. Um, 
The button is going to have to go... Please say this opens inwards as well. I have no idea. Button. Actually, is it done by a thing? It is. Ah, yeah, well, okay, we can do it with a button still. So, toggle button. We're going to go ahead and put one here. And we're going to go ahead and put one... Uh, 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 here. Okay, the same place on the other side of the door. That's okay, I think. Like that. Okay, right. And then we need a switch box. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're going to put it under the door, interestingly enough. Uh, we're going to connect it to here. This is going to connect to there. This is going to connect to there. And that's everything we need, except from a number. Uh... Oh, you know what? It's opening the wrong way. It is totally going to open up the wrong way, I think. It might try and open up this way. If it opens up this way, I need to change it. If it doesn't, then it's all right. Okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What was I going for? I need a number. Yes, I do. Here we go. Go downstairs. Put this piece right here. Logicify that together. On and... One. Okay, we need a battery though. A medium one. There we go. Look at that. We got a battery in this thing. Uh, okay, touch that to there, there, and there. And that's everything. Good. Spawn it in. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. Does it have water inside of it? It does. Right, there's a hole in this thing somewhere. There's a hole. Is it because this isn't sealed? I swear, if that's the problem, I'm going to cry. Uh, but I, I still feel like it... I don't know. Is there a hole? There might be a hole somewhere. There's no hole in the front. Is there? No. It's something to do with the door. Is it this? This might be a hole. Yeah, that might have been a hole, but I don't know. I have no idea. Right, spawn it in again. We'll see if it's a hole this time. Indeed it is. Okay. Is that just the door not sealing or what? I have no idea. Right, anyway, toggle button. Yeah, okay, right. I think I've put it in the wrong way around. I'm going to quickly change this. I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, uh, obviously it looks a little bit dumb at the minute, but uh, we can we can work with this. This is fine. Uh, so obviously, yeah, look, it sticks out here a bit, but that is probably fine. Um, yeah, I can't really do too much about this. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to have to stay pretty much how it is. I could do that, but I don't know whether that even fixes things. Anyway, uh, it still has electricity. Yep, it's merged in, and everything seems to be... Oh, this isn't connected. All right, well, that's why the door didn't open. And it is sealed this time. Okay, and we are heavily weighted to one side. Whatever. Does the door open? It does. And it opens inwards. Perfect. Yes! All right, nice. Uh, with it being weighted to one side, we're going to do something uh, pretty drastic here. We're going to go to the middle, and we're going to go down to the ground. I don't know whether this will even help. Yeah. That's quite a lot of weight, though. But it is working. Alright, cool. Well, we can now try and go inside. Indeed, we can fit through that door. Uh, it lets in a lot of water, but as long as we have a pump in here pumping it back out, we've got a big old room. Yeah, we do. Also, there probably won't be this much weight in there, so it might not even be in the water. I don't know. There we go. We'll do that and try again. Come on, please don't be in the water. Please don't be in the water. Oh, oh, just about. Just about. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Um, but we've actually got the main base to our boat now, so that's good. The door works. We can get across the roof. It's a narrow boat, and it's quite long. So, um, I think I am going to end this video here. In the next one, we'll be adding the engine, and we'll try and get this thing moving. And then the one after that, we'll probably try and decorate it, and maybe add an active stabilizer, if we need it. Which I think we will. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.